Hello. So it turns out that the Sussexes were offered the title of Earl of Dumbarton for their son Archie and refused it. Well, I refuse to believe it was Harry who refused it. I think it was probably, well, I think it was Ms. Markle because she noticed that the first letters of the title spelt out the word dumb. And she said he'd be bullied at school with that name. As I said, Prince Harry, Harry the horse to his friends, well, perhaps not to his friends, but certainly to me because he's so easily led, has gone along with his wife on just about everything and it seems he's been convinced by her that being called the Earl of Dumbarton is therefore a bad thing. Which is weird because Harry himself has the title the Earl of Dumbarton. Now you may ask, how come the son has the same title as the father? And the answer is, it's a Scottish thing. And that's the whole point here. Markle doesn't understand anything about the history or the traditions or the obligations of titles or anything else in these islands. And she simply can't be bothered to learn. Americans have been marrying into British aristocracy ever since America was a thing. Winston Churchill's own mother was an American. It's definitely not that Americans can't fit in. It's that Meghan Markle can't fit in. She has no education in that area or possibly not in any area, actually, and she doesn't seem to think there's any point in getting one. Now, as for words, first of all, we don't really use the word dumb in Britain to mean stupid. I mean, it's known, we hear it in films, but it's hardly the word of first choice. We have so many of our own, as thick as two short planks, for instance. Don't ask me why short planks should be any thicker than anything else, but there you are. Gormless is another from my own native Yorkshire. Burke, daft or daft, if you live in the south of England. Idiot, one pie short, short of a picnic. Um, not the brightest bulb in the box. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Not batting on the full wicket. Half baked, dozy, half cocked. There are a whole load of below the belt ones as well, which I won't go through here. They're a bit crude, but they have to do with someone who is not only stupid, but not a very nice person either. And then there is Winston Churchill's famous put down of Clement Attlee, a modest man who has much to be modest about. Anyway, the upshot of it is that Markle, and I don't mean Harry, Markle didn't like the title the Earl of Dumbarton because all she could see was the combination of letters that spelt out dumb, which is exactly what she is being. In, in what way would Archie be teased at school because of that title? What, what would he be doing using the title the Earl of Dumbarton in an American school anyway? I I thought you chaps didn't use titles. In fact, I believe you even fought a war about not using titles. Now, Archie might use the title legally whenever he came back to Britain, if he ever did, which, by the way, his parents are carrying on is a prospect of increasing unlikelihood. As I said, Harry himself has that title. The Earl of Dumbarton goes back to the 17th century and refers to the castle in that area of Scotland, which is called Dunbarton, with an N. It's as honourable and ancient a title as can be found anywhere in these islands, and it was a real insult 
to turn it down. But that's what Miss Markle seems to be all about. She married into the royal family and now she can't stop insulting them. She's, she's like my husband with peanuts. He can't just manage with one either. And apart from the insults to the English, Miss Markle is now insulting Scotland as well by telling the world that a very beautiful county is just, well, dumb. Does she think that because she's called the Duchess of Sussex that anyone thinks she's Dutch? Of course not. Come to that, she also has the word sex in her second name. Is that going to cause her son trouble? at school. No, she was just sore at Archie not being given the title of prince, a title he does not and should not have until his grandfather becomes king. Actually, that might never happen because given the resilience of Her Majesty, I can almost see Charles shuffling off this mortal coil before she does. I can even imagine that Charles might throw in the towel and hand the monarchy over to William. If that happens, then at least we'll all be saved the problem of a Prince Archie bouncing about. And I, for one, would be quite relieved about that. Prince Archie is the name of a pop star, not a prince. I admit, Archibald, though of noble provenance, is rather old-fashioned. Uh, it comes from the Germanic Erchan, meaning genuine, and bald, meaning bold. So all good stuff. But Archie, as a whole name? No. Well, as for embarrassing names, I want you to spare a thought for the good people of a perfectly respectable Lincolnshire town called Scunthorpe. It's a very old place. It was actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book, which, despite its name, was simply a catalogue of English towns and villages compiled by the end of well, 1086 at the command of William the Bastard after he'd invaded England in 1066. He did that because he wanted to know exactly what his dominions were worth. At the time, Scunthorpe had the name, let's see, what does it say here? Escumasthorpe. Escumasthorpe. I'll put it up here. And it derives from Scumasthorpe, meaning Scumas homestead. However you pronounce that form there. Anyway, all of the north of England was heavily settled by Norsemen of various sorts, and most of the place names reflect that. Some of you will know of the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, but there are, oh, so many more Thorpes all over Yorkshire and Lincolnshire, Noblethorpe, Owsthorpe. I, was, I never went there, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Linthorpe. Whiz thought, uh, yeah, there are dozens of them. Scunthorpe drew the short straw in that regard. I'll put the modern name up here so you can see the spelling. And you'll perhaps understand why when people search for it on the internet or, or try to post local announcements, they sometimes find themselves blocked. As for Miss Markle, well, two can play at that game. If you want to take four letters out of a name and make an insult of it, so can I, Miss Markle. With apologies, of course, to Scunthorpe. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.